All right, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom, and I just wanted to do a quick little rundown on an idea that I figured out last week. thought I'd share it. Uh, it's something simple inside of Adobe Spark, and it's building classroom backgrounds, digital classroom backgrounds, and using the area over here to the side, either way, to be able to create a to-do list or a work list while you're in class. So first of all, what I did was in my classroom last year, I took some pictures when we were working with the iPad that I had here. I was showing the students how to do the 360 photography and I just so happened to have taken a picture of a wall inside of my room and I was thinking well gosh that would be really nice to have as the background when I'm doing my zoom and my google meets so inside of this format I went ahead and picked that picture um, you know as you can see I kind of went through in my photo library I have a couple of different ones here's in my panorama oh, that's not a panorama that's the wrong one but you can see in my recents, like I had a couple of different ones up here, and it's going to toss that one in. I'm going to actually cancel that and put it back. Oh, cancel, undo that. But I, I kind of picked a couple of different ones and did that. When I had review work on Thursday of last week, or Thursday and Friday, I went into Canvas, and I actually listed all of the assignments that students had to do because it was a grade check day. I made a little to-do list. Now, one of the variations I did with this, too, was I started creating, as you can kind of see here, I started creating some different quotes of the day or a quote of the week that I could use as a background. One of the nice things that you have with this is if you have these set here, you know, you can kind of make these a little bit different. You can see me trying to get all that stuff over there. But then uh, what I had here, I do have my branding down in the corner. I always like to have it down somewhere when I'm having class. Um, it'll toss it in there. But here, replace. And what I really like doing was I went into the libraries. Not that one. I went into the free photos section. And I typed space. You could pick any quote you want to and then kind of see what you get. And they had a couple of good ones. I, I had one before. I really like that one, I like a nice little cosmos kind of deal. It is a picture. It's a quote from Carl Sagan. Um, I think Neil deGrasse actually says this quote a couple of times, and it's made a reference in his old uh, Carl Sagan cosmos uh, thing. But you can just change these around and use whatever you want to. Um, so if you have a quote list, an inspirational quote list or something like that, you can put these through. And then once you do that, you can go to um, Done. And I went ahead and downloaded it. So I'm going to save it. Um, I can put this as a shareable. So this one, move any logos and branded fonts first. So there's a couple things. If you do want to share this, I have some things in here that are not Adobe Spark. Um, verified so that's why I won't let me share but now that I'm done what I can do is I can go into a zoom meeting and then I can go ahead and start one so what you can see here is that inside of zoom you can go ahead and load the digital backgrounds in a very specific way um, if you go ahead and use them beforehand you can actually load them in. Um, if you go into your Zoom settings online, you can load all 10 of them. If you're on your iPad or some kind of iOS device, you can load a different set in there as well. And then you can swap them out as you go through. Here you can see the one that was the example that I showed earlier that you have inside of Canvas or you know some other LMS listing of the notebooks and uh, activity sheets that you're gonna have. And then over here, you just load through each one differently. You have your normal ones as well, and then you can be done with it. Uh, digital backgrounds are a great way for you to share different ideas with your students, including work that you want them done for the, for the week, but also be able to share your classroom at a time when you're at home. I'll just go back and show you the size setting for Zoom is 1920 by 1080. Um, in Google Meet, I think it's similar. I want to say it's like 1950 by 1100. Don't quote me on that. I know as they update Meet, they are changing some of those settings. So just keep that in mind. I hope this is helpful for you in your classroom or for your student trying to come up with some different things using green screen work. This is a great way to start. 
Enjoy your day and have a great week learning.